welcome back to my channel. I am Debbie. Today I have my kitting down of Poseidon from Bella Art Diamonds. So I have all of my spare diamonds here in this box. I do have my ones that I'm not going to save in this cute little fire hydrant. I'm starting to fill up here and I will give those away to my um, card making friends so they can use those to make some shaker cards and then I'll keep some for myself. But I am definitely getting full on those. I use my craft mates on this and I will put a picture up of the completion of Poseidon. I'll also include the link if you're interested in seeing that post review. On these, I have several colors um, that I did have left over. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start. These are in semi order of DMC, which would definitely help. I have my tray here in case I need to use that to get my diamonds out. So for those of you that are not sure what I am doing, I like to keep my spare drills. And I keep the ones that are really good. So if I had trouble with my drills, then I definitely will not keep those. But these all were really good. I had just a handful of drills that were trash. And that's going to happen with any kit some better than others but these were really good they were very shiny and i was just really excited to use them let's see so i definitely want to keep these and i hope that these stickers are going to come off very easy if they don't and it looks like they may not if they don't then Afterwards, I will just use some of my Goo Gone and I will just swipe it with a cotton ball, which is what it's looking like I'm going to have to do because these do not want to come off, which is fine. I will just take care of that later. No big deal. A lot of times I will go ahead and I will use, let's see if this is the same color. I'll go ahead and I will often use washi just to put on top so it's easier for the actual stickers to come off. I did not do this time, that this time, but that is fine. Some of these looks like will come off, but others are going to leave some sticker and some residue behind. And it's definitely not going to mess up my nails if I try to get these off because I am in a really terrible need of taking time and doing my nails. But I have honestly just been lazy. I just have not really taken the time to do it. Not really wanted to. And I have plenty of nail strips that I really want to use. But I just have not felt like doing it. Which is really odd for me because there was a time that I would go, and it wasn't very long ago either, that I would go to the nail salon and it was like every two, two and a half weeks without fail. I would go to the nail salon and I would have my nails done, but it got, it got to where it wasn't really healthy for my nails. I was having problems with my nails. They were starting to hurt. I didn't want to keep paying the absorbent amount that it cost for my daughter and I. And so I thought, well, I'm just going to start doing myself. And it's really easy. I just haven't taken the time. When I have free time, it's like I want to either work on making cards or I want to diamond paint. I need to get my all my special drills for my diamond paintings. I need to get those organized desperately. And I just haven't done it. So there's a lot that I really need to get done. I'm not gonna say this 310. I have so much 310. And I do have an overflow box 
that I do keep drills. I only keep one pack of drills in here, but I do have an overflow box that I do keep drills, but I do not need another bag of 310. So I'm not gonna worry about that. So how has everybody been this week? I normally do a video on Thursdays and I just did not do one this week. And I do apologize for that. I had every intention of doing a video, but I just, I just didn't. And there was nothing wrong or anything like that. It's just, I just didn't do it. Let's see, this is 3.36. I am going to finish this video and I will edit it, get it ready to be uploaded. And then I am going to do a video for Saturday and I am going to do my cross stitch conversion. I have really been missing it. I haven't even really worked on it in the past month just because I felt that I didn't have the mental capacity to do it and I just didn't. So I am going to work on that kind of out of practice on it too probably by now which that's to be expected. I'm going to put this over here. I might as well just put it back in. I'll just have to do the goo gone later. Let's see, the next one is 414. But I am really looking forward to working on my cross stitch conversion. I am ready for it. And I already have my, my iPad is already charged. I'm not going to save this one either. There's a lot, there's not very much in here and there's a lot of colors that are mixed that I did. I worked on this one quite a bit outside and there's a couple of colors that I know that I really messed up and I'll show you whenever I get there. This was 535. But I'm definitely going to, and I said a couple of weeks ago, you know, I was going to have a cross stitch conversion that I was going to work on for you guys on a, for a Saturday. And I started working on it and I just did not have the mental capacity to do it. And I kind of put it off and I put it up, but now I'm definitely ready. And there's going to be an event that I am going to participate in in November, which I'm really looking forward to. And that's from um, Kitting Up Kitten. And if you are a fan of cross stitch conversion or you want to try your hand at it, she has an event for the month of November. And it's going to be cross stitch conversion. And I decided that will be a perfect time for me to get back into my cross stitch conversion. That will give me some motivation and incentive to work on it more. So in November, I am going to have a cross stitch conversion at, for on Saturdays at least three times. I am going out of town in November. So I don't know if I will be able to, to do it the entire month because it's going to be hard whenever I get back trying to rush and get it done. But I might be able to. I'm, not, I'm just not sure yet. So I am definitely going to commit unless, you know, something happens and I just can't. There's no promises. But for those of you that really enjoyed that playlist. I'm definitely going to do that again. I do miss it. I just, I have to have the, I just have to think more when I do that one, which is usually okay. But with everything going on between my dad and everything, I just, I just really, I just couldn't do it. There's a couple in here that are stragglers, but if I need this color, I'll just pull them out. So there's that one, 819. 
Oh, this one's full too, and there's only a few in here. I might can put those in there just to have this bag where now it's completely full. I think I'll do that. I cannot believe we are the halfway point in October. I keep thinking of all of the whips work in progress that I really want to focus on in October. And it's kind of crazy that it's already the middle. I have finished one. I just finished it. The Halloween cat is done. So I'm excited about that. So that one, you will see a post review and a kidding down. I think I'm going to do the post review and the kidding down at the same time. Just have it on one video. So I will do that. And I am one row and I will have Professor Oliver McCrum finished. So definitely looking forward to that to get him finished. He has been so much fun, but I have put him up for just a little bit. I could have went ahead and finished it, and I wasn't really sure if I wanted to go ahead and finish that one or work on another one of my whips and decided that I would just wait on that one, savor the last row. I may try to get that one finished this weekend. And so that way I will have two out of my work in progress, but of course I'm adding more I'm not really adding more. I'd already calculated that I was going to have another one added, and that was the Oraloa. I have not started on that one yet, and it's a Halloween canvas, so I'd like to start on it at least. I know I won't get it finished, and that's okay too. But at least I'm making progress on my whips, and I'm adding another one in. 930. And I may even wait on that one and add it in November, but November's already going to be really crazy between us going out of town. Angie and I have the, the event that's coming up in November, the Sparkling Addiction. And so that is starting November the 1st. I haven't even started with my kit. I know what kit I'm going to do, so that's a plus, but I've got to go ahead with that kit, and I need to kit it up and just get it ready, and I'm going to also unbox it. I haven't unboxed that one yet either. I've had it for a very long time, but I have not unboxed it on my channel, so I want to do that and then I'm going to participate in the cross-stitch conversion. So that's two events right there and one that I am co-hosting. So all of that, that's going to be busy enough co-hosting for two months, November and December, and then also participating in another event. And I always like to do a gnome for gnome vendor. And I have a perfect one that I want to do. It's small enough but I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. I think I'm going to have to just pass on that one. Okay, I'm not going to keep 939 either. And it was a lot. It's almost a full container that I had left over for 939. I did not run out of any drills. 963, so that's definitely a good thing. I added some special drills in here just for the bubbles of Poseidon, and that was a lot of fun. I didn't think it needed much more than that. And some of these I don't have very much left over. I was starting to get a little concerned like this, but it's enough. It's, it's still some that was left over. I was just a little concerned I was going to run out, but I didn't. So that's what's important, is that I did not run out. Let's say 967. I'm hoping I'm not getting my head in this. And if I am, I apologize. I am wearing a hoodie, 
and I have the hood up. This is a totally different color. I'm not going to save these either. Not enough of those to start another bag. So there's that one. This is going rather quickly. That was 967. Now let's go with this one. 3021. Move this over just a little bit so I can see a little better. 3021. I'm so glad to take the time to get this done because I really could use. Where's 3021? I could. I don't see 3021's card, but here's 3021, so I'll have to look for that later. I'm missing the card. But I could really use some more containers. And. I'm thinking about taking a small diamond painting with me when we go out of town, or I may just take my paint gems. But I want to take the paint gem doors, and this would be really good to kit up with. I'm not sure how many. I have to look and see, though, how many drills, how many colors that there are. I'm not sure if this would hold them all. That is 3031. I loved all these colors in Poseidon. It was, it was a lot of fun to do. It was definitely not my style. When I bought it, my husband was looking at it. He said, what possessed you to buy that? And I said, well, I think that it would, it's going to match my, my wall that has a couple of mermaids on it. So I'm going to get that one framed and put that one on my wall. And then I'm working on a mermaid now from Bella Art Diamonds. And that would look really good next to it. But that one's a little bit larger, so I'm not sure if I'm going to put that one up or not. It just depends. And I may even do it to where I can swap them out. 3371. All right, 3371. All right, here we go. Oh, that one's full too. How much do I have? Might be able to fit this one in here. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. I don't know if you really are looking or not, but for those of you that are new and you're not sure what you would do with your spare diamonds, um, some diamond painters will actually just throw theirs away, you know, which is fine, or some will save in containers like this. They'll, you know, they'll just save them. They don't use them. They put them in like this little fire, something like a fire hydrant container. They'll put it in a vase or whatever that they, you know, want to use. I did that for a short time and then I started running short on some drills and I thought, well, I think I'm going to start saving these. And so now I do save them and I don't despise kitting down. I don't mind doing it. I love kitting up. Kitting down at first was a major chore because I didn't have it in a box like this and it was just it made it kind of complicated it was in a in a box but this just seems to make it so much easier and I think it looks better too now that I have more 37 26 and I do keep my my spare squares and my round separate. So this box is just for my rounds. I keep all of my special drills separate, such as A, B's, and my crystals, my quad cubes. All of those I do keep separate, but those need some work on the organization side. I hadn't decided exactly how I want to do it. I keep going back and forth. 30, but I've got to figure out something soon because I have them everywhere. 37, 
50. This is not easy reaching over like this either. 37.50. Okay, getting closer. There's not that many left in there, but they're the same color, they match, and so I'm going to keep them. I keep thinking about the end of the year, what do I want to do in December? How much am I going to be able to get completed? It's just crazy to think about the end of the year, goals for next year. I don't know if I'm quite ready for all that. I thought I was going to get more done this year than I have finish wise, but it is what it is. I can only do so much. 37.52 is that one. As much as I would like to just diamond paint all the time, I just can't. You know, work gets in the way of being able to diamond paint and craft. And I do seem to be getting faster with diamond painting. But I've been doing it for a while, so I, by this time I should. 37.53. Why is this? Let's see. Here we go, right here. 37.53. And surprisingly, these diamonds so far, except for a couple, have matched. I'm not going to keep those. It's not enough to start a new bag. 37.53 it does not match at all. If it doesn't match and I have quite a few left over, then I will just start another bag for that. Even though it's going to be two bags for the same color, but they're different colors, so that's okay. But I didn't have enough on some of these, just a handful. I don't think that's going to really cut it. Usually when I'm kitting down, I will just kit down directly from the container into my bags. But because these are a little hard to do, then I don't do that with these. 37.78. So does anybody have any weekend plans? Anything fun you're going to do? We're supposed to have kind of ick weather. And so right now it's really bad. It's really nasty out today. We've had storms last night that rolled in. The wind is just brutal today. So it's not one of those days that I want to get out and do anything. And it's cold. I mean, we have gone from summer, really hot, it's kind of really cold temperatures. 37.99. It's going to be hard for me to see this without getting my head in the way. All right, 37.99. All right, 37.99. That's the same, the same color. I may have to move this box over or move the camera over a little bit. So it's going to be harder for me to get to the other side of this. And that's where I am about to land is on the 38. Yes, I'm about to be over into the last section. Oh no, it goes there. 3051, my hand just hit it. What is this? 3047, why is that there? Okay, I should go back here. I'm not missing a 3047 card. Okay. So I'm going to just scoot this over just sideways so I can reach it better because now I am at 3859, which I'm on this last section. Make sure you guys can see. Okay. 30, right. 3859. This did not take very long at all. I should have already done this. 38.59 is here. Get a pen or something to hold my place. I 
haven't had anything on this bag yet, so that's good. Go ahead and start one. All right, there's a couple of blacks in there. I don't know if I can pull those out. I'll worry about that. It's just two. A couple of little stray drills. I am not surprised. This was my outside kit when we set outside in the evenings. 38.60. And now it's getting too cold. I like sitting outside in the fall, but lately it has just been in the 40s at night or the low 50s. And it is just too cold for me. One night I had a little heater out there that worked. But then the wind has been so bad, and then the rain and everything lately, that just didn't, it didn't work out so hot. Okay, the rest of these are A, Bs, and I'm just going to leave them in here. There's just a few, but I'm going to keep my A, Bs. I'm going to leave them in here, I'm going to put them in an A, B bag that I have stored until I can decide how I want to do my A, Bs, all my special drills. I think I'm just going to put them in a box and have them all together. I thought about putting them in an art dot container, but I have so many and I'd rather them be in bags. So if I want to use my ABs or specials, I can just grab a bag and I have to grab a whole container full of diamonds. And then I will go ahead and use my Goo Gone, pull all those off. So they will be ready for my next kit. So I'm going to push this over. So it did not take me very long at all for this kit down, which was nice. If I ever get my 220 color Josephine wall completed, that's going to take me a while. So that's going, that may even be two parts. I'm hoping to get that completed by the end of this year. But if not, I may just carry that in and, until we have our J Wall event in April. Not sure about that yet. Thanks so much for joining me today. And until next time, happy diamond painting. Bye.